Good day! Kumusta, science enthusiasts? This is Sir Randy, your science teacher at your service. At the end of our lesson today, you're expected to differentiate boiling point, melting point, and a specific gravity of solids, liquids, and gases. This time, let us try to recall the lesson about phase change. What is phase change? Phase change is a transition or change from one state of matter to another. Phase changes are physical changes because it only affects physical appearance, not chemical makeup, and they are also reversible. Now, let's hit our target for today. What is boiling point? The boiling point for any material is the temperature point at which the material transforms into the gas phase in the liquid phase. This happens at 100 degrees centigrade for water. The Celsius scale was in fact created on the basis of the water or ice melting point and the liquid water or vapor boiling point. Each substance carries its own boiling point. The boiling point of water is the temperature at which the liquid water vapor pressure is equal to the pressure surrounding the body and the body transforms into a vapor. The boiling point is the temperature for a particular liquid to boil at. For example, the boiling point of water at a pressure of 180 M is 100 degrees Celsius. A liquid's boiling point depends upon the liquid's temperature, atmospheric pressure, and what? And vapor pressure. Water can boil, raise temperature, or decrease air pressure in two ways. At sea level, it is the pressure of air that causes water to boil at 100 degrees Celsius. Water can boil at a much lower temperature in vacuum where there is no air. That is, if not for the skin that keeps the blood pressurized, body temperature would be sufficient to cause the blood to boil with water. At low air pressure, the water boils significantly below 100 degrees Celsius at temperatures. And now, let's discuss melting point. What is melting point? Well, the melting point is usually defined as the point at which materials changes from a solid to a liquid. The temperature at which solid changes its state to liquid at atmospheric pressure is called the melting point of that liquid. This is the point at which both liquid and solid phase exist at equilibrium. The melting point of the substance also varies with pressure and is specified at standard pressure. When all the particles in the liquid phase have been transformed into the gas phase, the temperature begins to rise again as long as heat is still being applied to the surrounding system. As the temperature starts to increase, so does the particle's kinetic energy. And now, what is a specific gravity? This, the specific gravity is the ratio between the density of an object and a reference substance. The specific gravity can tell us, based on its value, if the object will sink or float in our reference substance. Usually, our reference substance is water which always has a density of 1 gram per milliliter or 1 gram per cubic centimeter. And this time, let's discuss the formula for a specific gravity. The formula for a specific gravity, given that the reference substance is water, is the density of the object divided by the density of the water. Here, we use the Greek symbol rho to indicate density. And lastly, the specific gravity has no unit because the units of the numerator and the denominator are the same. So, they just cancel each other out. Always remember that the specific gravity is one of the property of matter which will determine the purity of gold in jewelry business. A genuine gold is denser than water. Our genuine thoughts words and actions during this time of pandemic truly mark the minds and hearts of our neighbors. So let us show care and concern with others, helping them in prayers, 
in our own simple ways. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye-bye.